Hello and welcome to this bag charm and key ring tutorial. So if you have a little look at what you can make in this project, so you've got your two variations of your key ring or bag charm. You've got a simpler version, which is using a single piece of chain, some different Swarovski element charms. And then we've got the waterfall effect where we've got a couple of lengths of chain and more of the charms. So if we have a little look at what we get in the kit, you're going to get some ball head pins, some earring findings, some shepherd hooks, some clasps, some jump rings, some swivel head key ring clasps, a length of chain, and then our Swarovski elements. So we have hearts, butterflies, and some small bicones. So our starting point is going to be, so cutting our chain. So to do, to do the version with the waterfall effect, so we've got two lengths of chain. So we're gonna cut first length of chain to about six centimeters or so. So about six. So we're gonna take our chain. And in this project, we'll be using our set of pliers. So we'll be using our blue round nose pliers, our yellow handled side cutters or snips, and our red handled chain nose pliers. So the first lot of pliers that we're going to use is the side cutters, the snips, to cut our chain. So I'm just gonna pull the chain taut and cut through. So I've got my six centimetre length of chain. So I'm going to do exactly the same, but with the shorter length. So I can pop it up against the length that I've just cut. Aim for about halfway. And cut through. So I've got my two lengths of chain. So now I'm going to use my jump rings to attach the chain to the key ring clasp. So for that, I'm gonna use my two lots of pliers. So my chain nose pliers and my round nose pliers. So with your jump ring, the jump ring you can open and close. So it has a little saw mark. So it's gonna make sure that little saw mark, which is just here, is pointing at the top. And I grip either side I'm gonna open and close like a gate or a door. I'm gonna add in my chain. Put one length on and my other length of chain on. So now I'll put, put the chain on. So my last bit to add on there is the key ring clasp. So just gonna open that up and pop that in. So you might need to just open your jump ring a little bit wider. I'm just gonna close up. When I close up, I'm just gonna wiggle that together to make sure that that's closed up neatly. So now it's attached and securely to the clasp. So if we lay that out and have a look, so what we're gonna do now is add in the elements. So first of all, we'll work with the butterflies. So I'm gonna take one of the ball head pins and the little ball at the end stops the elements from falling off. So we're gonna add in one of our small bicones and let that fall to the end. I have a butterfly. Again, pop that on and then we'll have another bicone. 
So we've popped that on. So what we need to do now is we need to create a simple loop at this point here so that we can attach it to the chain. So to do that, we're going to use a mixture of our pliers. So our first step is we're going to hold and just support the ball end on your finger and all the decorative pieces, the Swarovski elements. And I'm just going to move out and move that, the head pin, out at an angle. And I go in and cut with my snips about a centimetre from the top of that last bicone. I'm going to work with my blue handled round nose pliers because we're going to be creating a loop. So again, I'm just supporting the ball head pin at the bottom so that it doesn't move. I'm going to pop that piece of wire right at the tip so it's just at the caught in the pliers. I'm going to start to turn a loop. So I'm turning the pliers towards me to create a loop. I'm going to turn it all the way until it meets at the other end. So when we take out the pliers, we've got our loop that we can open and close. So the loop is closed at the moment, so I'm going to swap my pliers around to my chain nose pliers. And again, in the same way, I'm going to open and close like a door or a gate, that the loop we've just created. I'm going to add that onto one of the links of the chain. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to close and bring down. And you can make as many of those as you like and add them at various points to the chain. So for our second decorative element, again, I'm going to work with the jump ring. And at this time, I'm going to really open the jump ring up nice and wide. So I've got a larger gap here. I'm going to pop one of the hearts on, so that goes all the way on, and again I'm going to add that to the chain. Let that drop and close again, making sure that I've got a nice, neat close on that jump ring. And you can keep adding as many Swarovski elements and decorative pieces as you like. It's entirely up to you, but that's how you create your key ring and bag charm.